Hi this is Lucy and welcome to a Fallout 76 Building 101 video. Before I start today um, I wanted to clear up a bit of confusion. I have bought a new PC. I have bought a new PC because I need a PC to record and edit my videos from my Xbox. I have bought Fallout 76 for the PC and mainly because I wanted to try out the PTS. I have unfortunately missed it, it's now closed, but I started a new character this morning on PC and I managed to get out of the vault, which was quite a trial because I haven't played on a PC for many, many years and um, it took me a while to work out how to actually move. So I have no friends on PC, um, if anyone wants to add me I'm Lucy Jane Plays and it'll probably be for a while. Lucy Jane staggers about hopelessly, to be honest. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, I did get a video capture card. I didn't buy an Elgato because, frankly, I couldn't afford £150. I normally stream through Xbox Console Companion. I wasn't sure if I could still download it, but apparently I can because that's what I'm streaming on today. The... Um, capture card I've got had thousands of good reviews on Amazon but I am not particularly happy with the quality I am going to try and fine-tune that and see if I can resolve some of the problems but yeah I have been sorting out this PC for over a week it's been a huge amount of work and the other day I was crawling around on my hands and knees in, under the dust with the dust bunnies under my desk <laughs> with a vacuum cleaner it's, it's, it's taken a lot out of me, to be honest. It's not been the best of weeks. So anyway, all that aside, let's get on with the build. So I wanted to build a beach house. And I like to build tiny houses, but I don't want to just build a tiny little cabin that's not very exciting. So I tend to put dormers in. But normally with a dormer, you need... A building that's that's three tiles wide so I wondered if there was a way of putting a dormer in on a build that was two tiles wide now obviously it is fake it you can't see through it there is a ceiling because there are two roofs and the roofs go through it but I still think it's worth doing just to have a more interesting looking looking cabin I guess if you don't know where we are, this is New Gad. I am opposite opposite where I normally build. This is where my up house is and the Building 101 studio. I have Yasmin out. Again, I have muted her so she doesn't talk over me. And apparently she's on roller skates. Although, yeah, if I were you, love, I'd sit down. I have this little area out here with a picnic rug and a barbecue so you can enjoy the ambience of the beach. Don't get too many enemies, but I do occasionally get pot shots from you, Gad. If the mutants spot me, they will occasionally shoot. They're not very good shot from there but it will sometimes put divots in my beautiful <laughs> wallpaper. There is an upper deck. You get a much better view from up here. Um, if you sit down, you can see over there. It looks a bit more beach-like where you don't have to look at Nougat. I mean, obviously, there are a lot of spots around here that you could build this. It doesn't have to be here. Obviously, it's quite a small space. I decided to go for a studio with everything in one room apart from the bathroom. And I tried to keep with a sort of blue and nautical theme. These are actually computers and I will show you how I put them up against the wall because these do slope backwards. So I will show you how I did that.
I used this display and filled it with nautical items. This is Captain's Hat. You can get this from the White Springs from the gentleman, Gentleman's Outfitters. He sometimes has that. This is the Lighthouse from the Lighthouse. These are a good source of copper. This clean photo frame with a picture of a lighthouse comes from the Enclave Bunker at White Springs. And this is me desperately trying to find something else and deciding it's a seagull. <laughs> I have my Assaultron coffee pot on Yasmin's uh, cooker. Oh, she just walked through the sofa. That was interesting. Go away. I don't want to talk to you. I need to go through there. Come on, move. That's it. Thank you. Um, obviously, this I mentioned in my um, Grafton Heights um, video, Scarlett came up with the idea. <laughs> They're putting this chair in the bed just to give it a bit of colour. And obviously I've put another one out here just to... something else. I have my red cardinal out. And this is the bathroom with a shower. And I even used the new sink because it's ground floor. I mean obviously if you want to do something different you could put your bedroom in there. I don't know where you'd put your bathroom, but overall I'm quite happy with it. It's supposed to be kind of a weekend getaway cottage, so I'd like to keep it actually, although I'm running out of building slots. <laughs> there is a little workshop area at the back, so you can do all your crafting, and the dormer does go around the back as well. So this is it. So let's see how we build it. Let's get this out of the way. I have cleared space. I am really, really looking forward to um, Fallout Worlds because the last few days, <laughs> the last few weeks, every time I log into my server, it is night or it is raining and three o'clock in the afternoon. It's taking me half an hour just to find a world I can film on before I even start filming. So, right, anyway, we're going to start with a 3x3 three three grid. Even though the house is only 2x2, two two, we have the deck. And I've just realised we actually need another three at the back for the workshop area. So it is, in fact, a 3x4 grid. I am double walling this. And because you can't put a ladder over a wall, I'm going to put this ladder up here first and put a floor up. This is for our upper deck. Now, obviously, we're going to have to put a temporary floor here to get this double wall on. And that is the bathroom done. Now, 
Now I'm going to leave that wall off for a minute because I want to put the kitchen in. So I'm going to leave that like that. Now to get our upstairs, our fake dormer in, put a ladder down. And a half floor. Another ladder. And a foundation. Now what this gives you now is a foundation that's offset by half. And the easiest way to get over there is just to use upper floors. Which way are we going today? We are going that way. I'm a bit OCD. I like to have all my floors <laughs> facing the same direction. So we're going to do that. Now this is the middle point here now. So we're going to put floors across on that middle point which is half offset from the rest of the build. And we are going to take these half walls you can try double walling this. I didn't bother because I thought it added a nice contrast and it was the same colour. Um, this blue. You can use this window or this window. I actually got the idea for this build, believe it or not, from a doll's house I saw on Pinterest. Like a model house. So once you have all of these up like this you do need to get your trusty flamer trap out or if you don't have a flamer trap then you can ask a friend to PvP with you. I'm going to flamer trap all of these walls. Now I haven't tested this with double walling it. In theory it should work. I can't see why it wouldn't but <clears throat> It's not Lucy approved because I haven't tried it. Oh, I'm missing. It's going through the window. That's clever. Let's try this. Still have not got this window. Oh, there it goes. Last one. So all of those walls have been destroyed. Now what we do is we take this floor off and those walls are floating. I'm going to leave the ladder here for a moment just to make sure that this works. Now we already started the real floor ceiling here so I am going to carry on with that. It should just snap in. Like so. Now what you want to do is you want to get up on the roof. And you want to put your triangular pieces on for the roof. Now, because these are going to be on the inside, I didn't double wall these. I just put them on backwards. If you have a double wall underneath, it will go straight on top. Now, obviously, we have a problem here. So I'm going to deviate slightly and show you how I made the kitchen. Now obviously you don't have to do this kitchen if you don't have these pieces. 
what I did was I think this is the right one <laughs> I lined this up right on the line with the foundation trying to make sure it's straight let's get rid of this for a minute I always have a problem when I'm on this Xbox because the um, controller is slightly stiffer than the one I usually play on downstairs. Now what we're going to do, I'll put the floor back on. Double check that's straight. It looks straight. <laughs> is I'm going to flame a trap these computer units and apparently I haven't fed Scarlet oops come here they do break quite easily um, as do the walls as you may have noticed left which apparently oh no I got it sometimes it's difficult to see where the nozzles are going especially the lower one right did I kill any of these walls I think I'm okay what we're going to do now is put the double wall on We'll leave that for a minute. We can do a repair all on the uh, camp, wi whoop, camp widget. Right, now we've got that double wall on. Oops. We can put our triangular pieces on. Now, obviously, because these are facing the wrong way, the roof and the roof won't go on anyway because of these walls. What we can do is put the roof on the wrong side. <laughs> we can try to put the roof on the wrong side. We'll put it on here. Like that, it will actually go through the posts. Take that one off. These do not unfortunately snap at the top, so you have to repeat that process. Put the roof on the wrong way. I learned this when I was doing my boat. Come on, I'm gonna have to get down, it's being a pain. Put the roof on the wrong way. Then snap the roof on like so. And remove this spare roof. Now, hopefully, if we go to our camp widget. Right, repair all structures. You now have your dormer. And you have your kitchen. So what we're going to do now is go around and swap all these pieces for walls and windows, wherever you want them. And you should have something that looks like this. Now 
I used this striped wallpaper on actually on the inside and the outside. Barely see it in this light. What is going on? <laughs> oh, there we go. And because these walls are backwards, it just saves you a an extra flamer trap step and obviously the resource. This build is very cheap resource wise. We do need to pop up the top and put some flat roofs on here. Now the flat roof will not go over these roofs because they're up so what you will need to do is put them in the down position Oops. which it's it says it's a flat roof why isn't it working there we go no it's doing it again i have noticed this recently with the ooh, don't get stuck in your roof it doesn't seem to especially with the floors when you're swapping floors while we've got that down what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to quickly build a power generating box i've done a video on this if you're interested just get one of these little generators out put a conduit on top and wire it up I'm going to make it as small as possible I'm not going to be putting it in another box because it's going to be hidden so I'm just going to get my pressure plate out and it's going to be a <coughs> naughty boy today it could be a naughty girl <laughs> it's going to be naughty Now the problem with just leaving it like this is you have this trailing wire so I am actually going to put it in a stash box to get rid of that so I can just move it easily. I'm going to use this metal one. It doesn't have to be perfect it's just for ease of use. Right, now when I move it I've got no trailing wire. The problem with the trailing wire is that if you try to just take it up here it needs to be sort of in line of sight of where the kind of ghost conduit is. So we're going to go up here and we are going to put this here, sort of in the middle, that's not in the middle Lucy, in the middle. Right, now hopefully we should be able to get our flat roofs on now. I have been pondering actually streaming Lucy flailing about. I think I want it the other way because it matches. OCD! Um, you can put lanterns in here as well. Um, they really need to go on after you put the roofs up because otherwise they disappear <laughs> under the roof. Um, the generator is actually going to disappear under the roof space. You won't be able to see it. Can't show you. There we go. <laughs> So the generator is now invisible. Um, put the light up. It 
It powers, that little generator will power lights for the whole camp. Once you get the wallpaper on, your counters are pretty much, you lose that, that slope on the back of those computer terminals. I suppose they're not terminals, you know what I mean. Just finish the wallpaper. Change the floor to whatever you want. Where is it? Oh. I mean, if you really wanted, you could go for, if you want the blue and white theme, you could go for this floor. I think personally it's a bit much, but whatever you want. There we go. See, it's changed the floor again. It doesn't seem to restore it all the time. It should automatically just put in what the last one was, but from time to time it does this thing where it just seems to have dementia, but you know, Fallout 76. I used these steps that came with the contemporary set for here, and I used these railings these ones out of this set the only the the end two snapped snap which is weird and annoying but yeah I did originally put a lantern up there, although to be honest, because of the light from the house, you can actually, it looks like it's lit up anyway. But if you want a lantern up there, I remember this being a bit of a pain, to be honest. Um, it will go through the window. You can sort of build up and put something up there to stand on. Which is probably what we're going to have to do. Right, let's try that again. Actually, I'm going to put one more <laughs> floor down just to make sure. No, 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 no. Right, do not do this. Do not do what Lucy just did and put a floor here because it's attaching to this wall. What we're going to need to do is... I forgot. I actually built this a month ago. And sometimes you make mistakes and you think, oh, I mustn't do that in the video. So, but you, sometimes it's useful because you're likely to make the same mistake, so I'll show you how you get out of it. First of all, I'm going to put my lantern in here. And the way to fix this is pretty much how we built it. We're going to flame a trap this wall. Now, if it, it might take the roof as well. If that happens, then... That's fine because you can fix it all at your camp widget. There we go. <laughs> and I've just realised I've completely blocked off my... Um... I'm having a day of it, aren't I? 
I didn't actually think I'd get this video out this week. It's been, yeah, it's been, it's been a tough week. So, we're pretty much there. And mistakes will happen, but you can fix them. <laughs> These can be tricky to get on in the right place, but there we go. So there you have it. A two by two cabin with a dormer. You can obviously put another lantern in this side. I'm not going to show you how to do that. <laughs> One of the other things you can do is put a portable toilet or a super mutant tube out and jump on top of it so that you can uh, get the lantern in. I will quickly show you before I leave how to make merge the bed with the chair. It is pretty much exactly what it sounds like, but I will show you anyway. This is the chair I used. It comes from the White Springs from Pendleton. I used the clean hospital bed. I always struggle to sometimes figure out which end's which with this thing. Put that down. Put the chair on top in the middle, as far back as it will go. It can be a pain to get it. When I did the Grafton Heights, I couldn't get it anywhere near as close. I don't know why. Oh, there we go that looks pretty much centered get your pressure plate out which is here pick up your bed get on your pressure plate Might be better to do it from the other side so I can actually see what I'm doing. And there you have it. You have a bed with a very attractive, if you like those colours, pillow. <laughs> I just put the bed in this corner. And there we go. So you have a terminal kitchen and a bed chair. <laughs> you can sort of see the legs sticking through, but I don't think it's really noticeable. And we've had no attacks. I'll call that a win for today. I hope you like it. We had we had one week of heat wave in the UK this summer and we're back to grey, dismal, cold, rainy weather. So I think the summer's over now. It's starting to feel a bit autumnal, but you never know. We might have an Indian summer. Um, that means we might have a late summer, but I, <laughs> I'm not confident on that. So I will, I will pretend I'm at the beach in Fallout 76. So that's all from me today. If you've got any questions, any queries, I'd love to hear from you. Apart from the trolls, please stay under your bridge. That's all from me today. Thank you for watching.